Multiple drones from North Korea crossed over to the south on Monday. This prompted the country's military to try and shoot them down and deployed fighters to intercept them. Kim Dami starts us off. The South Korean military on Monday fired around 100 shots toward unauthorized drones from North Korea that crossed the inter-Korean border. One came down as far as the northern part of the capital, Seoul, and four flew around Gangado Island for hours. The South military, however, failed to shoot down the drones that are reportedly smaller than two meter. They all returned to the north. It was the first time in five years that North Korea had used the drones to cross the border. The South Korean military deployed manned and unmanned reconnaissance equipment to areas close to and north of the military demarcation line, took corresponding measures against the drones invading our airspace, and conducted operational activities such as photographing the enemy's key military facilities. South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff detected multiple unidentified objects, presumed to be unmanned aerial vehicles in border areas of Gyeonggi-do province, starting at 10.25 a.m. The vehicles flew across the military demarcation line separating the two Koreas and intruded into areas of Gimpo, Gangado Island and Paju. Some even came down within visual range of nearby towns. Among the South Korean jets that scrambled to intercept them was a KA-1 attack aircraft, which crashed after takeoff from an airbase in Wonju on South Korea's east coast. The pilots were probably OK. The North Korean intrusion also led to temporary suspensions of civilian flights, including at Incheon and Gimpo airports. Back in June 2017, drones from the north crossed the MDL and filmed the areas of Seongju County, where the U.S. missile defense system FAD is located. Kim Dami. Arirang News.